Now, a study is out saying Kansas and Missouri both are not prepared in the event of a disease outbreak. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains the reasons for the low marks both states got and the impact on you at home. Yeah, that's right, Amy. This map here shows how each state did in this study. The lighter the color, the less prepared a state is for an infectious disease outbreak. If we zoom in on Kansas and Missouri, we can see both states have a lot of work to do. I don't want to get the flu again. That's true. I would rather not. Harold Mays says getting the flu is not fun. I ran 104 temperature uh, part of the time and then went back down to 101. But a new study from the Trust for America's Health shows Kansas is not prepared to deal with an outbreak of an infectious disease like the flu. Kansas only scoring on three of ten indicators showing how prepared a state is against an infectious disease outbreak. Missouri only scoring two points better. Lugene Marsh of the Johnson County Department of Health says both states fell just short of having half of their population immunized against the flu. Many people are hospitalized and many people die from influenza. Nurse Stan Stuckey of the Olathe Medical Center says the metro area in particular year, could be at risk. Last year was the worst flu season we ever saw. Kansas and Missouri could also be at risk for outbreaks of whooping cough, tuberculosis, and other diseases. One case of measles is really considered an outbreak because it is so uh, highly contagious. Local health leaders saying more funding is needed to hire more personnel and raise awareness of how dangerous an outbreak could be. When you give it to your grandparents or your newborn, these people will end up in the hospital and it could kill them. Health leaders say you at home can play a big role in preventing an outbreak. They say you can make sure to stay up to date on vaccinations and remember to wash your hands. That can go a long way to staying healthy this time of year. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.